I just want to make this video to let y'all know that the same aliens that pull all this shit on us with the with the the Bible and everything and all the pyramids and all this shit to keep us all screwed up are the same people that go to work for the NSA, the same socially disjointed neckbeard creeps that play World of Warcraft and sit around stalking people all day long. Basically, humanity is their World of Warcraft. You know, basically, humanity is to them like uh, get into a fictional mindset, escape from, you know, all the social ridicule and all the social rejection and shit. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, with us, we're just like a cross between, you know, having an ant farm and uh, World of Warcraft. You know, I mean, I'm just trying to say it like this. I, I do think it's part of a bigger thing where, you know, alien civilizations above alien civilizations above alien civilizations <clears throat> will look down at humanity and say it sucks that another thing poses a threat to us but really only the aliens at the bottom are going to be worried about it so we're going to set a rule where you can't kill them but that just means they're going to be constantly distracted with them and have to do these hands-off games where they you know screw with them and screw them up and everything and, uh, <clears throat> you know, my, my theory is the first civilization that didn't have to deal with aliens and all the shit that they created, like, you know, um, uh, pyramids and all that shit to create hierarchy and all that. I mean, probably found our own way out of problems a lot quicker and probably did have some problems, but just got out of it a lot faster and didn't, and, and even probably did the same shit to the second one that is being done to us right now. But, you know, or, you know, probably didn't even have to worry about it. So the third one came along and then the second one and, you know, and they get threatened by each other. So it's just, it's like, it's just like a government thing, you know, my point is this, if the government can create any kind of justification for something, then they do it. You see what I mean? And so what I'm trying to say is that <clears throat> what they're doing to people on a daily basis watching their phones and all this shit under these bullshit justifications there's there's some justification for what they're doing you know that justification is they're worried about us they're worried about us being the next thing but they aren't really you know cuz how could you even justify that so that's what i'm saying it's just these fantasy ridden aliens that just break off from the whole goddamn civilization probably and just end up all the way on this side of the fucking universe fucking with us all day long. I think we need to think about that too. I think we need to consider the 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 thing that the whole you know possibility that we're so far from even being considered equal to these things that they don't even bother to stop them from doing it, you know? And it may not be part of a larger program, you know? I mean, that's that's probably the whole thing, to be honest with you. That is probably the whole damn thing. They probably come out here, away from their whole goddamn bullshit civilization, and just like, my God, I'm tired of getting beat up all the time. And they get all the fucking way out here. Like, I don't want to play World of Warcraft. I just want to get lost in it. Oh, I'm just going to get lost in it. And they fucking get out here and they just start screwing with shit and screwing with shit and screwing with shit until they're just stuck in it. Like some kind of fucking weird ass fucking World of Warcraft playing fucking creep that is seriously just gets stuck. You know what I mean? Like you got stuck, motherfucker. You came and just walk away. You're fucking pathetic by now. You know, I mean, that's that's exactly what happened to these motherfuckers. I'm not saying I know that, but I'm just saying just imagine the possibilities that it isn't that. Okay? I mean, come on. You know, they're probably just like us. Give it 150 years. I swear to fucking God, there's going to be people that branch off and just do this shit all fucking day. And you say, why? I don't fucking know. Because they like to live vicariously through some other person. If it's a video game, they'll do it in a fucking video game. It's If it's real life, then it's probably even going to be better for them. You know? And, uh... <clears throat> I'm just saying, you know... It's like I'll gear up this army with this, and I'll gear up this army with this, and I'll, and I'll, 
and I'll do this and I'll do that and I'll see if I can topple it and I'll see if I can do it without messing with it and I'll, you know. <laughs> this is, I just can't get it, okay? But, you know, I think the universe is just getting crowded, to be honest with you. I mean, to be honest with you, there's no other reasoning for this. Maybe this is the universe's way of trying to, like, sift through all the bullshit because there's just so much shit flying around by now that they're just, they just probably fly into each other. You know, I mean, seriously. Or it's just a big mess. And and probably the order that came out of that was just, it was just, you know, one civilization lot stacking up after another. You get to survive because you aren't threatening another civilization enough that has the ability to even fuck with you. You know, and, and and I don't think, and that's the only thing that I can see making sense. You know, it's just, it's just that's probably been going on forever, man. If you think about how big the universe is, it, it's probably I'm probably wrong. It probably is just civilizations stacking up on top of each other. If you want the real thing, I, I think that it's somewhere between <clears throat> civilizations stacking up on top of each other, one having a little bit of an agenda. I just can't see it being that 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 much of a priority. I think that I think that it's some low brain shit, man. To be honest with you, I think that it's something like a, you know, like a like a low brain thing, like um, like you know, like a stupid ass civilization, you know. I swear, you know, if you <clears throat> if you imagine, if you went, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> if you went back in time two hundred years. And you showed people, or 300 years, and you showed people, people, you know, for 300 years ago, all basically just the same as you, and showed them, you know, look at all this shit, and took them to an XD movie, and, and just, you know, <coughs> did all this shit, let them listen to music on some Bose headphones, or, you know, whatever, and, and took them through all this shit, they would just be like, and then you told them, you could tell them anything, you know what I mean, you could tell them that, you could tell them that you're from the you could tell them you're an angel. You could tell them that you're. You could tell them that you're with the Bible. You could be honest with them. See, my thing is, is that somebody out there is getting a power trip. Somebody's like, man, oh god, like the loser, like you know, the loser, you know, like the loser. The loser shows up. Man, I get to pretend I'm powerful. I'm gonna tell these motherfuckers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them I'm God. You know, just you know. The loser shows up. Of course. Who the fuck didn't see that coming? Who the fuck didn't see it coming, God damn it? This is all I see every fucking day. Do you know how many people sign up for the fucking NSA every fucking year? You would be you would be fucking mystified if you knew how many people just sign up every year. It's about 150,000 people. Okay? I'm just saying, there's more people that do this kind of shit. There's more people that get into this stupid, ridiculous bullshit than there is people that are just normal. In my opinion, it seems sometimes like I look around and there's more people that are interested in wanting to be a part of the government somehow, whether through partisanship or just, you know, just galvanization or whatever it is then there are people that just want what's best for themselves, you know? And I'm so, I get so bitter and I get so frustrated. And I think, what if everything is like that? I mean, probably is, you know? I mean, look how advanced we are. And this is what we are. This is literally all we've become. I mean, seriously, just a bunch of galvanized weirdos running around with their partisan shit. Don't care about reality. Really combative with it, most of them. Even if you told them all the facts, this is where I get frustrated with people. Even if you tell them all the facts and all this shit, it's all about, I'm a Republican, my mom's a Republican, my grandfather. It's like, they they live in the identity. And it's troubling because it happens on such a massive scale that I've really, I'm just resorting to just trying to figure it out through economics and shit because, uh, business and economics and currencies and shit because I just don't believe in people anymore. And I don't think I should you know, and I think that, I think that, you know, if we were to sit here, because I think a lot of people are going to sit there and go, Tanner, okay, they're advanced, man, and I'm going, man, we're advanced, you know, and we do this shit, 
The average person is a fucking loser. You know, the average person is a loser. The average person has no, you know, desire to do anything good. The average person has no desire to be honest. The average person has no desire to help, like, to do what's right for another human being. It doesn't fulfill them on a deep level, you know? It's more me, 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 and fear, 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 and just show me a little bit of a reason to be afraid, and I swear, I'll do it. And, you know, and it's just that, uh, you know, I don't judge you anymore. I think I have. Maybe I do. But, you know, I just, I think that it's more for me, it's just, uh, you know, I'm so different that when I think about trying to relate to you, it causes conflicts in my mind that makes me go into blind rage and just freak it the fuck out and start screaming and shit. And, you know, it's just, it's just the frustration of, you know, uh, you know, I mean, I was raised that way. I mean, seriously, I was, I was just raised that way. You know, and so it's, it has nothing, it's nothing to do with really being special or anything. I, I was just raised that way. But the thing about it is, is that, you know, when it comes down to, um, you know, the difference between, you know, me and the average person, I just think, you know, we're giving these fucking aliens too much credit for having this amazing technology. All we're encountering right now is the bottom of the barrel who showed up with a shiny widget who absolutely has been rejected by his own species. There's nothing left, okay, but to go to another species and portray himself as great, you know? And so that's it. And so it's just, we got to feel sorry for him, you know? It's the saddest thing is that those are the only ones that are showing up, you know? I mean, and and that's really, to me, it's like, that's where I end up getting so fucking bitter, you know, and I I just refuse to get bitter anymore. I'm just gonna take all that discouragement and turn it into hope because I don't believe that people can get themselves out of this absent of a gold currency. And um, I just think that uh, that even if you started to show them the viability of it and demonstrating it and making money on it, that they still won't recognize that they've got to change, and that um, it's probably not their fault. Or you know, who knows? You know, uh, but I don't even care anymore. You know. All I can tell you is this, is that um, on a certain level, uh, I think I've written everybody off, and I just, I don't know, I mean, just on a certain level, i got to be honest with you, I feel like I just look at you, and i just like, oh man, just like, you know, just like, god damn, you know, like, I'm not going to fucking shy away from the anger, you know what I mean, I'm just going to embrace it, it's like, you know, yeah, fuck it, you're all fucked up, you know, every last one of you, every fucking one of you, you know what I mean? Go on about my day, worried about things that concern me, do the best I can do. I know I'm not going to change you people anymore. I'm just give up on that shit and uh, try to find a way to work around it. And uh, and that's it, you know? So if it's not, you know, gold currencies because they've made them illegal, then just try to promote the ownership of gold. And if I can't do that, then try to promote the legalization of the ownership of gold. Just whatever, just anything besides trying to confront you at, you know, what you are because... I'll just tell you this, I don't think I'm going to change people anymore, I don't think I'm going to change the aliens, I don't think I'm going to change, you know, the nature of beings in general, which to me is dissatisfying, to say the least, to even contemplate, and and just the fact that <clears throat> every being that I feel like I'm going to kind of come across in life is going to have some kind of stupid fucking ass agenda to fulfill some stupid fucking ends that you cannot justify and you are stupid as fuck and you will smile on my face knowing that you're galvanized and that all it's going to do is burn me up while never changing you because in, in a deeper sense you're already satisfied with it all and so I don't sit there and put and you know put myself through that anymore I just I don't I just it, I don't even I don't pretend like I'm for it I don't pretend like I'm against it. I try to play somewhere in between when I'm around people and, you know, get really good at that. And, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, pretty much, you know, being so clever that no matter how you bring it up, that I can always find a way to say, you know, uh, you know, unless it's like, unless it's like around people that I care about. And then sometimes I get condescended and it's just like, you know, it's like, it's like frustrating as hell. Because that's exactly what I expect. I expect bullshit from everywhere. Everybody's got some kind of agenda to fucking berate berate you for caring. You know? That's the one thing I've learned. You know? And, and that's why that's why I don't 
do it. That's, I mean, it's just still even to this day I struggle with it because even when I'm talking about gold currencies and stuff, I get people like in my family and shit saying shit like, what, well, Tanner, why do you even worry about shit like this? Like trying to condescend me about, you know, being too sympathetic to people or too, like too sympathetic to life or caring too much because they can't figure it out how important everything it is. Uh, and you know what human suffering really looks like on a massive scale because you haven't been through it like I fucking have over and over again. You weren't in that fucking civilization or that, you know, you weren't in that generation of problems, you know. So, you know, the, you know, being in the country, a country that has more people locked up than any fucking country in the fucking world, basically like living under the fucking Stasi for my fucking life. And, you know, I just want to say this. Uh, as as much as you can understand what it's like to be enslaved and shit like that, slavery is a big fucking deal. And I know a lot of people come in when I talk about the drug war and try to, t- well, quote unquote slavery as you call it, try to fucking insult me some more and kind of send me some more. Yeah, sure, motherfucker. Just do whatever the fuck you want. History will smile on your fucking legacy. I promise you. Yeah, fucking being a, on board with slavery. Yeah, you're either the kind of people that are gonna be fucking monster. You know. Are gonna be you're gonna be monstercized in 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 movies in the future, okay? You will be absolutely monstercized over and over again. I mean, there is just look at the movies today. Those people are totally monstercized who are on board with slavery. You are gonna be monstercized beyond your wildest imagination. You are a fucking idiot, and you can have as much of that shit as you want. You stupid fucking piece of shit. And I know you want it, so I don't even fucking bring it up anymore. I just assume that you motherfuckers are gonna take all that you can get, and I know you will. So I don't bring it up. I just let you have exactly what you want until I can take it away from you by giving you a, a fucking piece of ice cream. You know what I mean? And you'll be fucking... You'll be distracted by the ice cream too much to even fucking notice what the fuck I did. That's as much as I believe in people. And I will tell you one thing. Uh, <clears throat> that's everybody. You know what I mean? That's just absolutely everybody. And the whole reason I even ended up in conversations like that with my dad was after... You know, my girlfriend was like, Did you tell him that we're back together and stuff? And, all, and I was like, D- Why? Why? We had a fight over it, almost. You know? Well, I mean, we had a little argument and then a lost connection. She wouldn't pick up her phone. I just don't think that she got it. You know, women don't get it. You know? They think that everything is going to be fine and everybody's happy about everything. And I just tell them, don't open up anything about to anyone about anything that you care about. You know? Because they're just going to find a way to fuck with it. And I've been trying to tell people that forever. It's not about being mean. It's, it's not about being bitter. It's about being smart. Okay? Learn about your environment. The world around us is fucked up. The culture is fucked up. The thing is so screwed up that the people are just fucked. You know, it's like being, it's like when you look at Stalinist Russia and they're like, there is no such thing as murder in Russia because that's capitalism where that happens. And we're in a utopia. That was the whole theory behind it. And and they literally pushed that on people and everybody said it. Everybody like, you know, and, 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 It's just the fact that people were just so divided that they would look around like everybody could be a spy. You know, everybody everybody might be a terrorist. Everybody might might be a spy. In a totally galvanized society where everything has become dark and dismal and you people have no, nothing for me to place hope in anymore. The average person is a galvanized slut for the fucking uh, oppression. So, I mean, I might as well just assume that going into it and learn like a person who lives underneath a communist regime who knows he needs to keep his nose down and his mouth shut all the fucking time. Because here's the fucking thing. You people are pathetic. You are a waste. And I do not have any fucking hope for you. You're disgusting. The average person will come in with something galvanized to say every time I have something controversial where they know in their heart that I'm right. Because that's what galvanized pieces of slut do. They go into their fucking slutty fucking scenarios for the government and slut it out hard and tell them they can have everything they want and bend over and spread them as far as the fucking government asks because they're fucking sluts for the fucking government okay you enjoyed it you enjoyed it when the fucking taxpayer had to fucking get their asshole reamed out over fucking goddamn you know 16 trillion dollars in goddamn backdoor bailouts and goddamn fucking you know The world's largest prison population got a hundred. We're stationed in 160 countries. You know, gold goes up seven percent every fucking year. That's your inflation rate, seven percent. So, anyways, until we get more, and that's why the government will absolutely try to keep gold illegal. 
because the if because if you're holding a bunch of their bullshit IOUs, then they can spin them till infinity. You know, I mean, they can actually make you ha- sit there and sit through the hyperinflation, while they take assets from, or they take the entire net earnings of every single person, in the entire country. That's why they want your guns. So then they can take your gold away. Okay? And put you on a permanent IOU status. For the whole damn... Uh, for the whole damn uh, group. And that's why they're trying to bring the uh, European Union uh, troops in and everything. To enforce the fucking uh, new gun laws and shit. I'll tell you what, man. You're not going to enforce shit on me. I think about just shooting cops for zero. You know? I'm thinking about dying any second and not giving a damn, you know? And the fucked up thing is y'all are, y'all are the ones that fucking made me that way with your fucking uh, Soviet brainwashing program that causes suicide. I mean, I've got a hair trigger response to not giving a shit about dying that you gave me with Soviet brainwashing program uh, called uh, MK Ultra, the original MK Ultra uh, red and trillion dollar conspiracy and uh, it's actually being utilized right now in a substance abuse felony punishment facility. And and I was in there with a thousand people. I ran into two people that I knew in there. Uh, on you know, knew before I was even locked up. Man, I'm telling you, they're doing this to people and they're fucking them up so fucking bad. And that's why I sit here and tell you, you know, it's gonna be like Stalin is it's gonna be like the Soviet Union. And I'm telling you, it is the Soviet Union. They take people and they put them in these fucking places. Oh, I'm gonna kill you fucking bastards. You are so fucking dead. You have no idea. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna strap a fucking TNT, a bunch of dynamite to my chest. I'm gonna surround myself by you stupid bastards in Congress. And I'm gonna blow my fucking ass to smithereens. I hope you're fucking ready. And we can all just go together and you can say, gee whiz, that was a really good idea. Making somebody suicidal. For, uh, so uh, so we can do a big Soviet brainwashing deal. Yeah, real good fucking idea, man. Real good fucking idea. Now you're all fucking dead and we can all fucking be dead together by some suicidal lunatic that doesn't give a shit about being dead. You stupid fucking bastard. Real fucking good idea. Yeah, real good idea in a country has more guns than any country in the world. Try to go making people suicidal nut bars with no reason not to give a, you know, give a shit about being killed. You stupid fucking idiot. You're absolutely fucked. You people are fucked. These are threats. These are more than threats. I'm going to follow through with this shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, if you end up putting me in jail like this motherfucker who went to jail for saying something about killing the president or something, and then fucking got spent his ass five years in there, and then he said something again just to spite you, to show you on a freedom of speech thing, I won't even say it again. I'll just come out and be sure to stay quiet the whole fucking time so I can get out and do it because I'm not going to fuck with you fucking people over some shit like this. You can either suck up what the fuck I have to say or suck up what the fuck I'm going to end up doing. You understand that? Anything that I have to deal with over what I say is going to become what I do, okay? So just understand that. All right? I'm not playing with you motherfuckers. I'm so sick of this shit. I can't believe that you fucking pulled this shit. motherfucker in the world to ever try to sit there and make me a lunatic you dumb motherfuckers especially you little perverted spy motherfuckers I think I'm more pissed off with you motherfuckers than even the motherfuckers at the top anymore because I don't even think there's anybody at the fucking wheel I think you're all fucked up I don't even care anymore you know what just fuck every one of you especially the people especially the people that spy on people because that shit right there is so fucked up where you'll sit there and watch somebody every fucking second of their life while they have no fucking knowledge of what the fuck you're doing and no way to get the fuck away from it and treat us all like a bunch of fucking bugs and shit. And that's that's fucked up, man. Because I can get away from goddamn drug war or I can figure some way to stay out of trouble if I'm smart enough. But with this fucking shit, you make it so fucking goddamn pervasive and to where the most disgusting maggot motherfuckers end up in these fucking positions to do this kind of shit. That right there is going to drive me to kill somebody 
fucking goddamn before anything. You stupid fucking bastards. I can't believe that you sit around doing this shit and they've put it in my face and come over my speakers with my phone hooked up to my speakers and literally sat there and started talking and having goddamn conversations with me. It's not a fucking joke. It really happened. They really do this. They really sit there and turn on your fucking computer as you're waking up in the middle of the fucking night and just to let you know, hey, we know you're getting up in the middle of the night at the moment that you're getting up in the middle of the night. They really sit around and do this shit over and over and over again and get on your phone. The, my VPN went down the other day. Somebody got on my fucking phone and deleted all my fucking calls. This is the kind of shit that goes on all fucking day. You people are dead. I am going to kill you. You motherfuckers, I swear to fucking God, you think that you're fucking safe. You think that you're fucking safe. Okay? You really think you're safe. I gotta tell you something. You are not safe. If you sit around and stalk my fucking phone, you're never gonna be safe again in your fucking life. Okay? Ever. I swear to fucking God, I will kill every fucking one of you people if I get any kind of chance at all. And will pursue that till the day I die. And irregardless of what you may do or what you may say or who you may threaten, it does not matter. There's nothing more important to me in this fucking world. Not even being burned to death or watching my family burn to death in my face. I swear to fucking God, I will only watch blindly contemplating you. Okay? There's only one thing in this world. There's there's nothing that burns me up more. I swear to fucking God. Nothing in this fucking world. The people that sit around and watch other people. Nothing in this world. Okay? Nothing in this fucking world. I swear to fucking God. You would think that I'm flattered or something to have this kind of fucking attention? No, I'm not flattered. Okay? And it is a lot of fucking attention. Okay? And I will tell you, I will tell you, like, you would think that I'm flattered. All I do is just get more and more pissed off. All I do is get more and more demeaning to the people who probably think I should be flattered or something. All I do is get more and more just insane, you know? And it's just, I, sometimes I have to stop and think about it. Like, man, I'm so fucking different than the average person. I know a lot of motherfuckers out there would just be so fucking happy if you were fucking stalking them. Oh my God, they would just be feel like they're the center of the universe, you know? Finally, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like worthy, like of stalking, like the people that I watch on TMZ all fucking day, you know? Like you're stalking those motherfuckers all fucking day. Why don't you fucking, you know, oh hell yeah, I'm being stalked. You're fucking happy with, no, and, and I really do. I sit and think that's how fucked up the world is that I actually sit there and just remark on the fact that I'm not happy with being stalked. I'm serious. Because I think that it's just the biggest glory trip anymore. And I guess that's what I think. I don't know, but... You know, it's just... I just think that... You know, it's just... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I just feel like I'm being watched right now, and I feel like there's people in Congress that are just sitting there watching me right now. I'm just like, dude, I'm 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 like I'm there with you right now too, and I'm fucking pissed as fuck. Okay, like I couldn't be more mad, you know, like I couldn't be more pissed off, you know. That's just I just feel that that contemplating rage, you know, like I'm gonna find a way to kill this motherfucker, you know. And then at a, in a certain sense being like, whoa, that was real. Like, this, oh, this motherfucker's like, he's making plans against this shit right now. As he's listening to me record this. Seriously, it's just fucked up, man. Like, it's just fucked up. Okay, okay. It's fucked up. Alright. You don't have no right to be on my phone right now. And I know you do that. This is all they do. This is all they do. This is all they do. This is all they have. You know, if you took this away from them, they would literally go into a stupor. 